Generating a chromatic scale in Max is simple. Just send consecutive integer values to a note out object to get all 12 semitones. For the major scale, things are a bit more complicated because there is not an even distribution of semitones, but there is a pattern of two tones and a semitone, three tones and a semitone. Actually, things can be simpler than they seem. For example, let's try using the scale object to remap the range of numbers up to 7 to a range up to 12 and round the result to the nearest integer. And voila, here is a major scale. This may seem surprising, but this is not the end of the story. For example, if we change the input range from 7 to 5, we get... Exactly, a pentatonic scale. And if I set the input range to 6, I get a whole tone scale, of course. And 8 gives me a diminished or octatonic scale. This is possible because all these scales are based on the most even distribution of 5, 6, 7 and 8 notes across the 12 chromatic notes. For example, uh, the even distribution of 5 notes out of 12 results in the placement of one note every 2 or 3 chromatic notes, which is exactly the pattern of the pentatonic scale. An even distribution of 7 notes over 12 gives a pattern of one note every 1 or 2 chromatic notes, that is, a major scale. The same happens for 8 notes over 12, i.e. the diminished scale. This type of distribution is essentially identical to that of the Euclidean rhythms, which consist of a series of accents distributed as evenly as possible over a given number of pulsations. For this reason, we might call these scales Euclidean scales. I googled the term but found no references, which means I probably coined it. Now let's turn this small patch into something usable. First, I add an offset to the value of the input note. I added the value 60, which corresponds to middle C in MIDI. Actually, 60 corresponds to middle C only if the scale is chromatic. In this case, the values generated by the number box are centered on the middle C. But if I set the major scale, for instance, 60 is no longer middle C. To make sure that the values produced by the number box are centered on the middle C when I use the major scale, I can use this expression. And to make the formula compatible with all scales, I can replace the 7 with a variable. Now the parameter is always centered on the middle C. Note that we are not forced to use 12, that is, an octave, as a modulo. For instance, if the modulo is 8, an augmented fifth, and the scale is only two notes long, I get an augmented arpeggio. If the modulo is 10, I get an arpeggio by fourths. To center the scale on middle C, also with different moduli, I have to include the modulo in the formula. As you can see, the scale produced by the formula is not C major, but B flat major. That's because the actual scale produced is in C Dorian mode. If I want to change the pitch, I can add a chromatic transposition.
For instance, I can add two semitones to get a C major scale. And to change the mode, I can add a modal transposition here. A modal transposition one step up gives me a Phrygian scale in D. If I lower it by two chromatic steps, I get a Phrygian C. And here is a table of all the possible modal transpositions. For instance, C Lydian. I can include the modal transposition in the formula and rearrange all the parameters that way. I put everything in a list of five elements and send each element to its destination. Now I add a Brownian generator to create improvisations in the different modes. The range of Brownian motion is fixed, so it expands or contracts when I change the scale. But I can fix that with this formula. Now, whatever the scale or module, the Brownian motion will have a range from two octaves below to two octaves above middle C. I can also include the scale remapping in the formula. All I have to do is divide by the input range, for instance 7, and multiply by the output range, for example 12. I can also include the chromatic transposition in the expression. And here it is. What is really great about this is that there is a single formula that can generate all the possible Euclidean scales with all the possible modal and chromatic transpositions. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. See you next time!